G'day guys, welcome back. Doing something a little bit different for you today. This is a patchwork swipe. Um, if you go back and look at my very, very early videos, probably about 18 months ago, you'll see I did a big one of these, but it was with Floetrol. I'm gonna do one today with um, my glue and water mix. This one, 60% glue, 40% water. I've mixed up all my paints, one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint because I want them quite thin. I hope they're going to be thin enough. Now I'll try and move through this quite quickly for you. Um, this is a 40 by 80 centimetre canvas. So if you work out, I like to do three sections. One, two, three. So 40 divided by three is 13.5 centimetres. Sorry, this is in centimetres. Um, so each little square is 13 and probably 13.3, 13.5 centimetres. So I've divided my uh, canvas up like that. Now, what I want to do is, and you just use a, a pencil and a rubber and a ruler and, and get it how you want it. Now, the other thing I want to do is because I want rectangle panels, um, this is where you can then rub out the sections that you don't want paint on really quick. So that will be one swipe there. Um, and then I think I'll go this way and I'll swipe down there. And then I'll just have a little one there and then I might swipe down here. So just have a little play with it. So your squares are all going to be um, either you know, a square like that or it'll be two squares put together and then you'll have a, a rectangle. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video. I'll continue on with my rubbing out. I'll see you soon. Okay, I've marked out my panels. So the first one will be here. One, long one, little small one. That one will go there, that one will come down here, another little small one there, that one will go that way, a little small one there, that one will go through there, that one will come through there, a little one there, and then a bigger one through there. So there you go. They're in blocks, and as I said, you can have a single block, or you can have a double block, you can go down, you can go across, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I have got one, two, three, four, five, six colours. I've got an extra black and that's for my edges. I've cut my plastic the same size as my squares so it's easy for me to swipe like that. Um, and then let's get to it. Uh, this one has got two drops of coconut milk hair serum in each colour, every colour, because I'm not, um, I don't know which colour I'm going to swipe with until I, I get going. So it's in all the colours. Right. Now this is going to take a while so once it gets started, you may like to fast forward a little bit because, as I said, it's, it's a bit of a slow process, this particular pour. But we'll get started and then you can always fast forward if you want to. You don't want to watch everything. The one I did, my, my big one that I did last year, oh, actually that no, was before that, about 18 months ago, <laughs> I was using a little camera and... Uh, it only had a very short amount of time that I could actually uh, videotape for. So it's actually in three parts, which is a bit of a pain, but it was just when I was starting out my YouTube videoing journey. And uh, yeah, I didn't really have the good equipment. Not that I've got good equipment now, I just use my phone. But I didn't really know about how long I could video for. So I used my camera and I had to stop and pause it and um, download part of it and then, you know, remove it from my camera and then I could take the next section and then I'd have to stop, download it, <laughs> clear my video memory um, and then, yeah, do another one. So it was probably about an hour long, I guess, it took me. But it is a very tricky sort of a pour. So it does take a while. Let's move these paints because they're in my way. I've got white and I've got black. And then I've got navy. 
I've got a regular blue, I've got a light bluey turquoise colour, and then I've got this red oxide. So those are my colours. Now that they're out of the way, I can get round here. Um, again, I'm just going to pause this real quick while I cover my edges. Righto, that's done. Now, the black in that cup that I used for my edges does not have any of the oil in it because I wanted it to stick. So that hasn't got any of the coconut milk hair serum in it. Um, but this one has, the one that I'm going to be using for my swipe. So I'm going to do each panel differently. Just pop my colours here. Uh, so the first one... And so that's going to be this one going down. I've gone little arrows just so that I can remind myself because I couldn't rub everything out really, really well. So a little bit of black there. And then I'll go with a little bit of the light blue. So leave a little bit of a gap between each because we need to spread these out because this is not um, the sort of swipe where we can tilt our canvas. We're not going to be able to tilt it at all. So that's why it's going to take uh, a little bit longer, I guess, because I have to smooth each of these out. So a little, probably about oh, just after, oh, more than a, a finger wide, I guess. And uh, where's my little tool? There. I think this one will work nicely because it's a square shape. So basically what I need to do is just, don't worry too much about the colours blending at this stage. It's going to take you way too long if you worry about all your colours blending together. Um, now don't take your paint all the way down to here otherwise you, when you drag that across it's going to be way too much paint. So let's just see how the first one goes. I may have to actually clean my little tool before I, I do that because it's going to be a little bit messy isn't it. So touch it there and Wipe it down, see how it's pulling the paint down. And then when you get to the edge of your end of your little square, just lift your plastic up and then you can wipe it straight onto the, the bit of paper towel there that you've got. And ta-da, there's the first one. <laughs> I probably could have come down a little bit further because now I've got a bit of a gap there, but it's okay. Uh, you know, you can try your best to get your, your, your line straight. It's not going to be perfect I don't think All right so that was the first one with the black swipe now this one is going to be that length there so let's pop some of the blue down I'm going to swipe with the light blue this time shall I put the paint up the side there that I'm not having it um, on my clean paper towel here hey All right Another finger width. So you're basically doing a finger of paint, a finger of space, a pink finger of paint, finger of space, roughly. Oh, it feels a little thick. I had to add more of the blue. It was seemed really, really thin. I'm just putting a little splash of water in that. So my little puppy is doing well. He's um, oh, he's three and a half weeks now. His eyes are opening and he's starting to walk around and not eating solids yet, but he's, he's doing well. So that is great. So thank you for all your lovely messages about how he's doing and 
all of that. Yeah, he's doing really well. Very proud of the little guy. It was touch and go there for a, a week. Right now, let me see if I can maybe, I'll have to clean this off between because it's just so that the colors don't blend too much. I'll just do that. I've got lots of paper towel here. And I've got more cut up. So just basically just smoothing that out, okay? And then again, leave probably two fingers worth so that you can swipe down. Because if you go right up to the line, that paint's gonna push right off into the next section and you don't want that. Okay, here we go. Swiping with the blue now, the light blue. And get to the line and lift up. Oh, I didn't quite get to the line. <laughs> oh dear, it's been a while since I've done this, you guys. <laughs> I'll need a bit of practice. Just wipe my plastic off. I've got some um, damp cloths there ready to go with my, to clean my um, plastic. So you can, if you want, torch as you go. That one doesn't need any torching. This one does. So you can give it a bit of a torch as you go. Um, I'm not gonna over torch. I'm just gonna just see how things happen. Um, I like the negative space on the top of each of these. So that's got the black, that's got the blue. Don't worry too much if they blend a little bit, it's going to happen, so don't stress about it, okay? You're not gonna enjoy the whole process if you're going to be too stressed about um, <laughs> it blending. So yeah, try not to worry too much. All right, now let's start. Now this is only a little one, so we're gonna have to do um, either less colors, or if you want to use all the colors, do your little stripies um, a little bit thinner. Okay, I think I'll just have less colours actually in this one. I might have one less. I am doing the stripies a bit thinner too. Uh, and you don't have to have all the colours in all of them. Like I don't think I'll put black in this one because there's a lot of black just up there. So I don't think I'll do that. Yeah, you don't have to have all the colours. So I'm just going to do that one like that. And I'm going to leave out the black and the... Red oxide, because there's enough of black and red, red oxide up there. So you don't have to make them all exactly the same. Drop my plastic. <laughs> all right, how are you going there? Not getting bored yet? <laughs> now, because I've gone, um, kind of missed that when I was swiping, I'm going to take that blue up a little bit higher. Blend the white. Blend the navy. Okay, and again, I've left a little gap at the bottom. This one's not so important. This one's easy. I can go straight over. <laughs> straight over the edge with this one. Whoops. Missed a bit. No, no, I'm going to have to go again. Um... This is a bit thick, this blue. I'm going to have to add a little bit more water to it. Now I'm going to need a little bit more blue there. I hope it's going to be all right. Just go slowly. That's better. I kind of skipped there and had that little bit of a, a gap. I'm going to wipe off my plastic again with my little damp cloth there. And we'll torch that one. So that one's a lot more blue. If there's a panel, oops, whoops, the torch fell over. If there's a panel that you don't particularly like, um, you can use. Uh, a scraper like this. Let me grab my scraper, which I use to scrape canvases. And if you don't like a panel, you can just use that and you can just scrape him off. 
and you can do him again. But um, I'm going to leave him like that because I like how it's lots of blue with some white in there. If I, if I change my mind later and I don't want him, that's okay. I'll, I'll scrape him off then. Right. Uh, now I've swiped with black. I've swiped with blue. Let's swipe with, let's swipe with white. Uh, yeah, I think it's all right. Just got to make sure that your, your colours aren't too thick. And if you don't want a big block of colour there, do a small stripe at the top of the colour that you want to swipe with and then the others can be a little bit bigger. How you going? Having fun? Watching? <laughs> Whoops. Put a bit of a blob there. back yeah, it's it is tough to get you know your lines but just do your best it's not going to matter terribly much if you've gone over your lines you know it's it's fluid art it's not going to be perfect so try not to stress about it too much a little bit of black and what else do I want I probably needed to bring those colours down a little bit further actually. I'm going to have to add another strut because I'm too far up. See how it's, it's a bit... Um, Puddling. I should have spread them out a little bit more than that. Let's just add another little bit of the, the light blue there. And spread him out. Okay, so that should be all right. All right, oh, let's go with the next one. Oh dear, done it again, I've gone too, maybe I do need to bring my paint down a little bit lower than that. I'm going to have to go again. Izzy, don't bark please. Izzy, she's under the table, I think my daughter just got home. She's likely to bark. Izzy? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, so just try and catch the white. And when I get down here, I'm just going to give it a little bit more pressure. There we go. Cover that. Right, let me just get rid of this dog before she barks. Oh, I can't press pause with the glove. Okay, I just popped her outside. Now let's torch the white panel. So as you can see, they've all you know got the same colours in them, but each piece is very different, which is what I like about this technique. And it's up to you how many cells you want. You know, you can go more cells, you can go less cells, uh, just depending on on the amount of torching that you do. There's a little tiny bit of canvas showing through there, so I'm going to pop a tiny bit of paint there. Just looks like a cell. <laughs> it's fine. Um, now I'll probably put a little bit too much white there because I put the white on twice so it's a little bit much there. Alright, um, now because this one's going this way I think I'll do this one next. That way if I have a bit of a funny end that will cover it. So let's do this one next and because I haven't gone quite up to my line there I'll just move it over a touch. Uh, now what do I need to swipe with? Um, let's let's swipe with this, the red oxide, hey? 
So again, don't put too much down of your swipe colour, otherwise it's going to be a little bit thick. That block colour will be a little bit thick. I'm just going to push that off the edge. See, if you had time, you would then, you know, smooth out each line, I think, would probably be your best bet. This is thickened up a bit. Your colours can start to thicken up a little bit, you know, if you're waiting. Oh, I was going to swipe that way, wasn't I? Oh, well, we're swiping this way now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you swipe. It really doesn't. But it's only a little block, so just remember you're not having all the um, all the colours or if you are having all the colours, whoops, just make them just make them thin like that. All right, that's that one. Oops, I forgot to wipe off my plastic. I think I got sidetracked when Gemma came home. Oops, did I just shake the table then? I was wiping my plastic. All right, let's go again. So I'm gonna swipe this way. It doesn't matter if you go that way or this way. It, it really doesn't matter. That one there, that's a little square. I'll go that way. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to push that in a little bit. Make sure you got good contact. And off you go. Wait till you can see the line there. And then if you just lift up like that, where that bottom line is, you should be pretty good. If you've got a little bit of an extra bit of paint there it, it doesn't matter it'll all, it'll all be good on the next one okay so oh that's very red oxide ish isn't it let's torch that one so some of the panels the cells will come up automatically and others you know you'll have to torch oh that's a pretty one isn't it my gosh look at those cells I'll try not to get too close because I don't want whole thing to be taken over. Oh, I was going to say, I don't want the whole thing to be taken over with cells. My gosh, look at those cells. Those are gorgeous. Very pretty. This bit's bothering me. There we go. Oh, I just think I put my finger in that. Did I? I think I did. Oh, probably this end of my glove all right I'm gonna to have to maybe um, mm, I'm gonna have to swap that one again so there's no reason why you can't swipe again you know if you're not happy with the section um, I do have that build up of paint there now because I've swiped into that one Um, so, let's see if I can get rid of it like that. This is why you do one panel at a time. I'm going to have to do this one again now. A little bit of the red oxide. And as you can see, you can go over them again. Push that off. Um, now you could leave it like that or you could swipe it again. Let's swipe it again. And then I will just push that blob of paint off like that. So this is why you do one panel at a time. I'm just going to fold that over, then I can use that side there. Okay. 
Okay, and torch again. We'll torch both of these now. Do this one next. Um, oh, look, I didn't come down far enough to that one. I really ruined this one. Ruined it. All right, because I was supposed to come way down here last time. Past the line and stop. Okay, that's better. Third time lucky with that panel. Let's go again with the torching. gorgeous cells. So these guys are starting to grow a bit. I'm not sure if I like that panel there actually because it's just blue and white but that's all right. Now this one is going to be a navy one. Swipe with navy so let's pour the navy out. How are you going there? Not getting bored yet? I know it takes a while, just bear with me. Navy and a bit of light blue and a little bit of red oxide. Actually, I haven't done black for a while. I have to add a little bit of black, hey? And some white. Okay, it's much easier doing these bigger panels. The small little square ones are not that easy to do. So with your little tool, just spread out your, your navy. Try and make a little square for it. Spread out your next one. If you don't think you've got enough paint, you can just add a little bit more, that's okay. Just have them kind of touching each other. A little bit more white. Okay, let's go again with the navy one. So try just to touch the navy, try not to touch the white as well because you just want to drag the the navy over the top. Go slow because if you've got any gaps you need to have enough pressure to cover all those gaps. Go past your line and lift. Woohoo! Getting better at it you guys. <laughs> oh dear. There's a little bit of um a little bit of canvas showing there. I'll just fill that in. A little bit of paint. So the red oxide makes these little bubbles. Um, it must be a transparent colour. It does react differently to the other colours. You can see up here um, the red oxide makes little bubbles as well. So it does a little bubbly thing. Uh, so that's it. That's very different, isn't it? But it's still pretty. Okay, now a little one in here. Um, actually, let's go with the, the light blue. Again, not too much. Because that's the colour that's going to be dragging over all the other colours. She might give the oxide a bit of a miss for the moment. It's 
it can take over a little bit so um, just give it a bit of a break it doesn't have to be in all the panels you know if you want more of a blue look use more blue if you want more of a turquoise look then use more turquoise um, I just want really pops of the um, the red oxide so yeah, it doesn't have to be in, in all of them a little bit of pressure as I get to the bottom here make sure I'm not gonna uh, have any gaps I'm gonna go again got it. I'm going to have to see actually how long my taping has gone because I can only tape for 40 minutes I think and then the camera cuts out so I might have to stop and then just splice the two videos together. See how long I've been going for. 31 minutes. All right, I think that's probably a good time to, to stop. And then, uh, yeah, pick it up again. Hopefully the next little third, I think I've done two thirds now, should go a little bit faster. Um, now, I really like the navy, so I'm going to do this big one here with the navy swipe. I don't think I'll put any of the oxide in this one either because oxide's just, oops, I need some more paper towel. Oxide's kind of taken over a little bit. So I think I'll leave the oxide until this one down here. And then that's kind of balances it there, there and down there. I'm sure you guys, if you take your time, you can be a little bit more careful with where you you line everything up. Um, it's just a bit tricky when you're in a you know in a hurry. So really, what you should be doing is keeping your paint in from the edge of your your lines there, so that when you do spread it out, you go to the line. So you can either do each section like this and then smooth it out so that you know how much you need on your next one or you can put them all down first and then smooth them out whatever you like a little bit more navy and some more of this turquoise I think I made up where am I like um, thousand grams of paint so a kilo of paint I made up for this wasn't sure exactly how much paint I needed but I didn't want to be short I don't you still I've still got like half a cup of each so I don't think I'm going to use it all all right let's go so over here when you do your line it'll kind of straighten that out a little bit If you're worried about your edges looking a little bit messy, you know, this, this line will, will straighten them out. So go past your line and lift. Oh, that's a pretty one. And then your little bit of colour that you've, you know, swapped onto here, you can just fill in there a little bit. Don't be too precious about it, it can just look like a cell. And just put a little blob of paint onto it. The um, light blue, it also does these little bubbly things. I think it's the. Actually, is it? 
Let me have a look. Oh no, it's the opaque colours. It's the opaque colours that are doing the bubbly thing. Uh, the red oxide is a uh, opaque. This one, because it's mixed with so much white, it's an opaque. Um, at the opposite end of the scale, the white does not do that. It's just some of the colours. That one's really pretty, isn't it? Love that one. Now, what am I missing? I really need to do um, a bright blue swipe this way, don't I? Because I've only got the one bright blue swipe there, and I'm, I'm really not liking that. I think I'm going to get rid of that. All right, let's pop a little bit of blue here. It's a bit of a messy pour, this one. The whole technique, it's, it's a bit messy. <laughs> you have to, be, have to be prepared. Your cloth's ready to go. Pop your petal pads down. And you have to have enough time to spend on it. You really do. It's, it's a bit of a time consuming one, this one. Mm. Oh, I want. No, let's have a little bit of a blue. That'll drag, the black will drag over that. Need a little bit more of that one. Okay, that's that one done. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you're not getting too bored. Okay, here we go. Swiping with the blue. And I will just overlap there a little bit so that we can get a straight line on that side. And slow it right down, put a little bit of pressure on so that you, and then lift so that you're clearing that section there. Woohoo! Like that one too. <laughs> Some of them you're gonna like, some of them you're not gonna like that much, but hey, just just um swipe them off if you don't like them. Now let's just pop, actually. Um let's just do a little edgy one there. Look at that. Mm, no, it's got white through it. I'm gonna have to go again. Um and I'm just gonna use one of these little paint chip cards. With a little blob of blue at the top because I don't like that white stripe through there. Okay, that's better. Still got a little bit of a white stripe, but it's not too bad. Bit of a torch, not too much. I'm going to get rid of this one, it's bothering me. you good thing okay um, actually no I haven't done a another white one I really need to mimic that one over here and do white there because that's the only white one I've got so I need to do that big white one there um, and then this one can be a little bit more of the red oxide. Oh no, that's that's the full white one. Okay. Um, okay. Well then, you're going to have to be the red oxide because you're up there. You're going to be the red oxide. That's going to be white, and that can be. Oh, it could be another black. How's that sound? All right. That'll work. 
You don't have to decide all of this beforehand, you know, you can just see how you go and see what colours you like where. Right, that's that one done. And then a little bit of navy. And light blue I don't love the bright blue as much so it is it's okay just to have a little pop of it it's okay I'll put a little bit of black on the bottom there actually Feel as if I need another colour in there, don't I? Maybe I do. Actually, let's just pop a little bit more navy there. Just to fill that. It's only a small square. We don't want to overcrowd it with too much colour. Do we? Alright, there we go. Get that one done. Okay, and here we go. Over the edge, turn it off. So that's a lovely balance, those two there. With the red oxide. Just a few cells. Hair, hair, <laughs> coconut milk hair serum makes the cells grow a little bit more. See, as they've popped up, they were nice and round, but they've kind of spread a little bit. So, I don't know. I'd give it a go, but I'll probably stick to the, um, the treadmill only because, uh, yeah, these pop up and, and they grow more. Oh, look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Right, oh, we're nearly done, you guys. Two more panels. Now, what did I say I was doing here? Black. Right, so that needs to be a little square because this is a full one. I don't like having two full ones next to each other. So there's a full one there, it's half a one there, and then that can be the full one. That can be the... All right, this is going to be the black. That's going to be the white, okay? I've still got half a cup of paint left. I really have to cut down on my my paint usage. It's a pity that both the top ones are black. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's just maybe it'll be better that way. <laughs> so I don't want to do them the same. That had the black and then the light blue. And then the oxide was down here, so I'm just going to change them up a little bit. So that they're not exactly the same. This can have the, the light blue further down. And the bright blue as well further down. Whoops, that's a lot. Okay, so there's our bit of black. Spread that out a little bit more. That's a big piece of blue there. Spread him out. You can kind of feel how much paint you've got there, whether you need to spread it out a little bit more. Probably used a bit too much. I think I'm getting tired now. <laughs> Oops, that's too much. We'll go over the edge. And I've left a little section there. Okay. Let's do black. Mm. 
Now I'm getting closer to the side panel, not worrying about the edge so much because I can go over the edge afterwards. Lift it up. So I was more interested in getting that straight line there than worrying about this section here. I'll just go over that. And again, the red oxide is making the little bubblies happening, little champagne bubbles. you guys I did it wrong that was supposed to be the little one and then I was supposed to have a big white one I was just saying to you I don't like having the two big ones next to each other oh no oh well it's done now let's do a little white one here <laughs> uh, never mind won't matter Still look pretty. I'm not going to put any oxide in this one because there's oxide in that one. I think I must be getting tired, hey? <laughs> it took me a while to set the set everything up, you know, mark it all out. So yeah, it does take a while to do this one and then video it. Okay, are you ready? Last one, lucky last, with the white. Missed it again. I don't like that. Should have stopped and put more white on. Let's see if I can get a bit of clean, something clean. It's got more white in it. It's still, as you can see, it's still picked up the, the colours from above there, but hey. I'll just get it done, hey? Alright, let's torch the last one. There we go. Beautiful cells popping up. Again, don't get too close. have a look um, I'm not loving this this one here it's just yeah I don't know I'll see if I can do that one again should I should I just leave it should probably just leave it shouldn't I yes <laughs> let's just walk away <laughs> I like it 70 <laughs> percent all right so we've got the black there, matches the black there, even though it was only supposed to go to there, it doesn't matter. Um, we've got some light blue there, light blue there. I've tried to kind of match, or sort of balance it. So the red oxide there, red oxide there, white, white. You know, just not put them next to each other, the same colors next to each other. And you can always touch up with your little card if you see any areas that need touching up you can do that all right so there we go 
What do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> Patchwork swipe. We'll run my little tool underneath. Catch any drips. I personally don't mind how I've got little drips of colour over the edges. I think it's part of the, the appeal. Um, if you particularly don't like that, once your painting's dry, you can paint over your edges with black. But I like it. Because it's all the way down. You can still see that it's on a black background. But um, yeah, I like it. Right, let me get my gloves off. I've still got heaps of paint left. I'll have to change my calculations there. Okay, oh, that was exhausting, you guys. But did you enjoy that? I don't mind at all if you've fast forward through some of it. No, it was a bit much, a bit long. Come around here. Come around here no more. <laughs> Always reminds me of that when I say I'm coming around here. Okay, now through my screen, the red oxide looks quite red. It's more of a rust colour. Okay, let's start over here. Love the white. It's very clean. You, know, you haven't got any bubbles. Over here in the black one, you've got more of a little bubblies from the light blue and the red oxide. You can see the cells are multi-ringed. Some of them are a little bit more busy, some of them are a little less busy. And you know, if you had more time, you might be able to make your edges a little bit neater. Just don't over, overcrowd your panels with paint because then you do get those swishy up bits between the panels where there's too much paint. So it's just going to take some time and some practice for you to learn how much paint to use. But there you go. Looks like a patchwork quilt, doesn't it? Patchwork swipe. Right. I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to go and have a cuppa with my dogs. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Have a go and um, go back and watch my very early one uh, that I used with Floetrol. It's more of a lacing effect. This one's more cells. The one with Floetrol was more of a lacing effect. So you can decide which you prefer and then do that. And then pop them up on the um, Pouring Your Heart Out page on Facebook. And um, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.